What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing Aiden Superhero Hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now, as some of you may know, I love throwing ninja stars. These are uh, my batarangs. I actually own a bunch of different types of ninja stars, and these are just some of my favorite ones to throw. Uh, and I love doing it, but ever since I moved to Texas, I haven't really had a great spot to do it. I used to have a whole setup back in Arkansas when I lived there, but now I don't have that, and so uh, I decided I would show you guys how I make mine for literally zero dollars. Zero dollars. Um, let's say you don't have any of these tools I'm going to use, which you probably have most of them. But let's say for the sake of argument you have absolutely none, it'll probably cost you around five dollars for the whole setup. But before I can get into that, let's run that intro. No joke though, it's hot in Texas. What's up? <laughs> anyway, let's talk about what you guys need to get started. First off, you'll need a cardboard box. This can be used, new, it doesn't really matter. You can go to the store or Walmart. I think they sell them for like 50 cents. Uh, buy as many as you want. Um, I would say four layers of cardboard is gonna be ideal. So uh, whether that's two pack boxes or three boxes, however you know big you want it to be, get those cardboard boxes that fit that size. Number two, you're gonna need tape. I saw this boat in half and repaired it with only flex tape. Now, tape is gonna be extremely, extremely important because it's gonna be what uh, holds it all together and what makes this whole project last longer. And lastly, you're gonna need some kind of knife or box cutter. Like I was saying earlier, uh, you need to work with boxes, so having a box cutter or knife is, you know, ideal. And of course I have all of these things already, so I'm spending a total of zero dollars on this project. But let's get started. First, let's start off, I have this giant box here. It's from a furniture piece that my parents ordered a little bit ago. Uh, but it's perfectly sized, it's nice and big, and it has these big flat panels that I'm going to cut off and stack, again, four layers deep. All right, now that I have my four pieces of boxes uh, all set up, and again, it, the thickness is up to you. I think, personally, from my personal experience, four layers is plenty thick enough to catch uh, any throwing star that you're gonna be throwing at it, but if you plan on throw using like arrows or uh, axes or anything else like that, I definitely suggest getting maybe something, uh, something thicker, maybe using eight layers instead, or maybe even 10 layers if you're really throwing axes or spears or something like that. But for me, for my usages, uh, four layers will work just fine. Next, you're gonna wanna get your tape. Your tape is gonna be first used to secure all four corners together really well. Now that you have all four corners taped up, again, I taped up across either direction so it doesn't slide in the other direction. It's all one unit, no uh, part like kind of falls off or falls through the middle or anything like that. Now once that's all set up, you're going to pick your front facing side. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna just choose this side because uh, why not? Actually, I'm gonna choose this side because it has some tape on it that I wanna cover up anyway. So I'm gonna choose this side as my front facing side and I'm going to put a layer of black um, duct tape or Gorilla Tape over the front like this. Phil Swift here for Flex Tape. My experience shows me that doing that allows it to hold together better, last longer, and catch your throws a lot easier. All right, so I did run out of tape, so I'll have to get a little bit more tape to finish it off, which I can do later. But this is gonna be basically what your fun final product will look like. Now, all you have to do is go to your backyard, mount it against your uh, fence, and, Get some practice throws. 